it's packing day. I'm in my new place now. The number you have dialed has been changed. back to another vlog. I have to be a bit quiet because Erin is sleeping in my living room right now. Erin, Paris, and Sissel have actually been sleeping with me for the past, I feel like, week because we have some family members staying in our house for a little bit. I think they're leaving today, so I have to flat to myself today because, guys, it's looking like a mess in here. It's so... Everything is all over the place. We have mattresses right in the living room where we've all been sleeping on. It's been so fun. We've been watching movies every night and just like eating snacks and spending so much quality time together because it is Monday today and I'm leaving to style wash on Thursday. I don't know how that's real. I have not properly processed it yet i still am in disbelief but i know that these days are going to go by so quickly that's why i just want to spend time with my family and friends as much as much as possible i got ready i think it's 10 like past 10. i was like yeah i'm gonna get up at 7 today and like you know be productive do my journaling <laughs> that did not happen i have not been in my routine at all lately but you know what that's okay because we're literally going back into the most hectic routine ever in like the next few days so i need to not be so hard on myself i just got ready put on some makeup put on a hat because girl i am not about to deal with my hair today um let's just forget about it okay don't even look my sister and i have to go to the south african high commission because my visa is done my visa is done I'm so excited and I was so worried about it, but it's done. Oh, hi. Guys, I saw the camera. It's on the Wednesday. We're going to the South African High Commission because my visa is done and I'm so excited. And Paris also needs to go and like do things there. Wait, who's me? Mommy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those are all the updates. I'll do a haul later actually of all of the things that we bought at this game yesterday. My mom broke her bank at this game yesterday. Today is just gonna be a little day in my life vlog. You always do a day in your life. But I, I like it, I like it, it's, it's good. So, so, no, no, I'm, I'm not being rude. I'm saying like people can see what you do in, in a, a day. day. That's what I'm that's that's what I'm saying. Exactly. I'm also saying that. <laughs> I'm very hungry. My dad is bringing the car soon so we can go. Let's go eat. I'm so hungry. I changed my hat because Erin said that it didn't look nice. Mm. Yeah, it kind of looks good. <laughs> I just scarfed on my meal so quickly. We need to go. We literally need, I literally need to leave now. I'm vlogging. <laughs> we are on our way now to the South African High Commission. Our favorite place on earth. Favorite place of life. We'll see you guys when we're there. Please pray for us. Okay, we're here. <laughs> we'll give you guys an update as soon as we're done. I think it's full. It looks full. We'll give you guys an update when we're done. Pray for us. <laughs> I got my study visa. This was I got my study. Probably the only decent experience I've had. Yes, the lady was so nice in there. Well, she wasn't so nice, but she wasn't rude. She was decent. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really didn't think that this would this would have happened and then it only takes five five to six days to get to do the transfer yeah so if i can fly on oh, you're monday flying on, oh you're flying on sunday so that mood van dag in gaan yeah okay so let's keep going okay now we have to go run a lot of errands so she can submit her thing i'm just so happy i have this okay let's go <laughs> hello We just went to the South African High Commission. I think Paris is coming. I think I can tell you guys, she lost her passport. And now we're just trying to get her visa transferred from her old passport that she lost to her new passport. And now we have to like run around so quickly. We have an hour until the South African High Commission closes. It needs to go in because she's leaving in the weekend. And here she comes. Hopefully we can finish it. This vlog has literally just been talking. Gosh, this is a whirlwind of a day. Like, what even is actually happening today? I need to edit a video today. I haven't posted in like two weeks, but I'm posting a video today. It's this one right here. So please go watch it if you haven't already or if you want to. Oh, what? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Let me take one more. I don't know if they'll have a problem with the hair being done. What else are you doing with your hands? We're saying this shit out. 
is really good. Cool. <laughs> get a bowl. I get. I want a cup. I'll get a cup. I'm eating oats. Please, please, please. Can you see? <laughs> can you look in this week? <laughs> One thing I realized is that anything banana flavored is so strong. Anything banana flavored is disgusting. I only like bananas. I don't like banana. I don't even like bananas that much. I love bananas. I'm a banana girl. I don't even like apples that much. I love. I'd rather eat like I'd rather eat a mango or a pineapple or strawberry or blueberry. Like I'd rather eat something like that. Apples are so basic, but apples make me more hungry when I eat them. <laughs> Like it does nothing for me. I love apples. I love the texture. Cinnamon is really refreshing now. Mm -hmm. Like I love the ones that are just hard and juicy and sweet. Mm. Oh, well, I don't oh like these small ones we had on the hike. Mm -hmm. These ones are delicious. I don't like the ones that are stale, like like um, mielarach. Yeah, like flowery like on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I remember I had that one like nice and red apple. Oh my gosh. I like yeah. red apples more than good. green ones. Ooh. Back in the flat, just don't even mind the marks on my forehead. I just took off my hat and I'm gonna take my laptop and my cupboard is open once again, obviously. Why do I ever, why would I ever close it? Why? As you can hear, I have some company. Erin and Cecil are in here with me. I'm gonna go sit on the couch, edit my video that I have to post today and plan out some other content things. And we're gonna watch a movie while we do that. So, oh, and tonight we have dinner plans. We're gonna go eat at Goodfellas and I'm really excited. So I'll take you guys along for that. Okay, literally just got home again. I had to go drop off my brother at soccer practice, which was not in the cards. You guys know those things always just come up really randomly and you have to adapt. You know, living in a house full of people, full of siblings and being the only one that can drive you have to adapt okay i was like zooming the whole day you guys saw me it is four right now and i really need to finish editing my video like it's important and it's urgent and i still have quite a little bit to do and then it still needs to export and i still need to do my thumbnail so i'm like oh my gosh i need to hurry up and i still need to continue filming this vlog i really want to film a haul for you so i'm gonna sit down and just like glue my eyes to my laptop screen okay Glue. If you have been watching my videos, then you know that I said that there were going to be three episodes to the flat revamp series. So the first one, which is already up, was basically like moving in, getting everything organized and stuff. The second episode was me deep cleaning this whole flat. Now the third episode was supposed to be a full flat tour of like the finished flat. But that was never even going to be realistic. I don't know what I thought in my head. I don't know what I thought, but it was never going to be realistic because I'm literally leaving on Thursday and the flat is far from done. I still need to buy so many things. Most, if not all of these things, my parents are buying. I don't want you guys to be thinking like I'm buying all of these things. Like that's just so false. My parents are buying most of the things that are in my flat and I'm so grateful. But obviously we can't just buy things like pa 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 pa. Like we need to wait a little bit. And there are so many things that I still want in the flat and so many things that we still need to buy and move around and stuff. So there are maybe like two new additions to the flat. Other than that, it looks basically the same as what it looked like in my previous video. Two new additions to the flat, that is not gonna make up a whole video. So I think in this video, I'm gonna just show you guys a little update and then maybe end of the year or next year beginning of the year I'm gonna show you like a full flat tour because that's realistically when it's gonna be finished and done I'm so sorry I really wanted that to be a whole separate episode but it's just like not gonna happen it's not gonna happen but I think I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow because the flat looks crazy right now but I'll show you guys the new additions tomorrow it's actually really really cool additions and I'm so happy about it I just wanted to give you an update sorry if I was speaking so so fast my jaw is hurting from speaking so much but anyway oh my 
gosh, I whipped out the ring light. That's when you know that it's serious, okay? Please, let's just ignore my hair. Ignore the lighting. Ignore everything that's happening right now. We're not focusing on that. We're gonna focus on the Diskim haul that I have for you guys. And then I have a mini, miniature, minuscule Woolworths haul. So these things are basically for me to take with me to South Africa. Some of these things in this bag are my mom's and some of my sister's, but I'm just gonna show you everything that I got. And I'm currently uploading my video, so she's gonna sit right next to me so my laptop doesn't die. Oh my gosh. This cam is my weakness, okay? Don't ever send me into a disc cam with a card full of money. Because even without a card full of money, even if I have like $5 in my bank account, I, I will still go in there and spend so much time in there, okay? Even though I literally don't have money. So imagine if I had a lot of money to spend in disc cam, I would... I would not come out of there. Starting off strong with some pads. These are my favorite, if you're wondering. Then we got this big pack of cotton pads, which I don't even use cotton pads, so I think this is for my sister and my mom. Then we got some toothbrushes. My sister and I are gonna split them. These are the Dental Mate Biodegradable Toothbrushes, and they're really cute. They're made from bamboo. Well, the handle is made from bamboo. And then we got, why am I out of breath? This is not going to be a good haul if I'm literally like, and then, and then, oh my gosh, I need to calm down for a second. We got these Intuition Quattro for Women Sensitive Skin Razors. There are three in here, so I've got a pack and my sister got a pack. I got a new spray bottle. She's so cute and little. I like the mini spray bottles. I don't know why. If you guys watched my previous vlog, my self-care vlog, I said in the video that, oh, I don't really take vitamins every day. Like I haven't been on my vitamin game. I don't really take anything except for a probiotic and then collagen. So my mom bought my sister and I these Vitaforce multivitamin lady Vite vitamins. This is what they look like. Helps boost collagen for healthy skin, bones, and joints, fights fatigue, and immune function. And it has all of these vitamins and minerals in it. And we were like, sold. Then I got my lovely, my trusted, my literal heaven sent stomach product. This is called Progast gastrointestinal support. You get this one that's kind of for everyday use and then you get different different ones. You get ones that clean out your colon, you get ones that are just targeted for different places in your gut. So this one is a multi-targeted action and it helps with IBS, heartburn, bloating and flatulence, chronic constipation, nausea, abdominal pain, and cramps. So that's literally everything that I have. Here on the side, it says all of the things that it has in it. And it is all natural things. Like it has slippery elm bark. Don't know what the hell that is. Ginger root, German chamomile flower, angelica root, caraway fruit, milk thistle fruit, lemon balm leaf, artichoke, artichoke leaf, licorice root, and peppermint leaf. This thing is hella expensive. For a small thing like this, it's so expensive. But guys, if I tell you that this little thing works wonders, it really does. So you take 20 drops of this in like a tiny bit of water and you literally just take it like a shot three times a day. Thank me later, okay? Thank me later. And I got a new skincare product by the brand Aven. I always hear such good things about this skincare brand and I use their sunscreen, which I really like. And this is thermal spring water and it is soothing and anti-irritating to your face. I'm gonna use this as a toner right after I wash my face and just like spray it all over my face. I think it has like anti-inflammatory properties and it will help de-puffing and all of those good things. So I'll give you guys an update when I use that. Erin is here. Next we have hair products and I've been trying my natural hair products because my cousin slash sister Catherine actually recommended these products to me. I've been trying out their leave-in conditioner and their deep conditioner and I have been loving it so much because my actual favorite leave-in conditioner by African Pride, this one, has been discontinued for some reason. I cannot find it anywhere. I can't find it here and I can't find it in South Africa so I think that it is discontinued and I'm so sad. But we have the hydrating conditioner and the nourishing shampoo. I'm gonna try these out and let you guys know as well what I think. I have some zinc and iron tablets. 
Then I got Big Boy of Sanix 0%. This is so good for my skin. I have sensitive skin on my face and on my body. So I love things that have zero fragrance. Hypoallergenic, I think that's what you call it. It makes my skin super soft and it's just so nice. It is for sensitive skin. If you like things that smell really good, this is not going to be for you. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like straight soap. Sorry if you can hear noise outside, but I cannot stop right now. I need to continue. I need to finish because I need to go take a shower. Then my mom bought my sister and I Anaconda mentholated care balm. And if you know what this is, you know. And then last but not least, we have Epimax. I love Epimax so much. It's my favorite moisturizer for my skin, but I actually bought Epimax Man because let me tell you, let me show you, actually. Let me teach you guys about a little hack, okay? So, I don't know if I'm just stupid or if this is actually legit, but this Epimax that I usually use is so much more expensive than this one, but they have exactly the same ingredients. That does not make sense. They have exactly the same ingredients on the back. So why would I pay more for the exact same thing that's literally just man? What is it called? Pink tax. Don't pink tax me, I'm not gonna fall for it, okay? I'm gonna buy this one that's way cheaper, that's literally the same thing. But if I'm wrong, <laughs> and this really doesn't have the same ingredients, but I can read, and it does. That was all that we got at Discam. Now I'm gonna show you two clothing items that I got at Woolworths on sale. And I was just so lucky that I found things that I really like. Sorry if you can hear the drilling, I'm really, really sorry, but I got this dress. And it is so cute. It goes like right below your knees and it's such a good winter dress. I'm really excited to wear this. Erin, please pass me my next item of clothing. And then this one is actually the one that I'm so excited about because it looks like I thrifted it. It looks like I literally thrifted this skirt and I have a vision for it, okay? This skirt with like a little bikini top or a cute little crop top with my loafers or some sandals in the summertime. That's the vibe that I'm going for. Look how cute. And it has a really cute pattern, but it's really giving summer. It's not giving winter at all. So she's gonna stay in my cupboard until it is warm enough to wear out. That is all that I got and I'm gonna shut up now because the, my dad's workers are right outside my window and they can probably see me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna go take a shower now and then we can go to Goodfellas. Hi! Oh my gosh, no. No way. Why is it doing that? Anyway, sorry if you the light is glaring. I literally have been sitting here for so long trying to upload my video and trying to finish my thumbnail. And I am finally done, okay? I'm posting my video in like two minutes. But it is, it's literally 6.30 right now. I will not have time to shower. So I'm just gonna upload this video, get changed, do my makeup. And then I'm gonna come shower when we come back home. But let me show you guys what my thumbnail is looking like. This is what it looks like and I really like it. It took like 20 minutes for me to do this, but I always stress do things thumbnails like i'm always stressing while i'm doing it and i'm always stressing while i'm uploading my video i just did the quickest makeup of life and i just chose my outfit so 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 quickly but this is what i'm wearing nothing super interesting i have this polo neck i think it's from Foshimi. then i have these cargo jean situations from cotton on and then my beanie from cotton on as well and i just put my hair in two braids and i did like the fastest makeup look of life and then i'm just gonna wear my converse that are low-key really really dirty and then i'm I'm gonna wear my puffer jacket. Our reservation is literally in five minutes, so we need to go. Actually, we're gonna put some perfume on. I'm gonna put some Lancome Idol. I think it's what it's called, perfume, and I love it so much, it smells so good. Also, I literally have to come home and like roll in my hair, because I'm doing something with my hair tomorrow, which I will vlog, but you guys will see that in the next video. So I need to roll in my hair and like wash it and everything, so I <sighs> pray for me. Hello, Erin and Paris. <laughs> mind how I look right now. <laughs> I look like a raccoon. But I just got out of the shower, just washed my hair, and I used my new conditioner. 
and I really really like it It makes my hair feel so nice and large I'm gonna speak quickly so you guys don't have to look at my face But I'm gonna go in the house now and my mom is gonna roll in my hair Then I have to sit under the dryer and dry my hair So um, let's go do that and it's basically 10.30 So I'm like is she even gonna do it for me? Is my mom gonna roll in my hair or is she gonna be like no? The lighting is so horrible but my hair is done Yay now I'm just drinking water Look at my bed that needs to be sorted out immediately like immediately i'm gonna put on a youtube video and speed through this real quick and like that we're done these rollers are hurting my head why am i doing this to myself So my little hair dryer situation decided not to work anymore. I don't know what happened. So I guess I'm just gonna have to sit like this for maybe a little bit longer. It's 12.30 and I need to get up so early tomorrow morning. I am gonna say goodnight to you guys. Wish me luck. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm in my house, clearly. Today is just gonna be a prep pack video for when I'm traveling back to Stellenbosch on Thursday. It's Tuesday today. <laughs> On the agenda today, I'm gonna get my hair braided for the first time in since 2020. And I'm a little bit nervous, but yeah, my appointment is at 11. But I have to take my sister quickly to go finish up her visa things. And then I need to go buy my hair. And then later tonight, I am seeing Raina, my best friend, and we're gonna go watch a movie. My ear <laughs> is so red. So come along with me and let's get ready to leave back to Stellenbosch. We are on our way. My dad is actually dropping me off. I'll show you guys what the salon looks like inside. I haven't never been there before. Sorry, the lighting is a little bit bad, but yeah, I've never been there before, so it will be my first time. And I'm really scared. I bought this hair, Movie Stars. And I bought a brown, but it low-key looks black. And then I bought one that's like closer to my hair color a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what it's going to look like. And I'm really scared. I made myself a little sandwich because I'm like, girl, you cannot be hungry while you are sitting there because it's going to take a while. And I have my laptop. I have my book. I'm sure I'll be able to film in there. I'm just um, scared that I will be scared to film. That's all I wanted to say. Bye. <laughs> legit just woke up <laughs> maybe half an hour ago but then i still sat in bed and was like chilling you know i feel so ashamed i didn't even wash my face last night y'all sorry <laughs> i'm gonna be touching my hair so much my room is such a mess it's packing day and i'm like just not in the mood for it you know i'm like just not in the mood it just feels a little bit surreal like i don't know i don't know so i have to take all my clothes out of my cupboard and i'm just like i don't even know what to pack what do i even take what do i even leave i'm so lazy i'm so lazy i don't want to do it anything i wish that someone was here to help me but i think in order to feel better right now i need to go take a shower okay not me just procrastinating right now i just made some breakfast i'm gonna sit and watch some tv and eat then i'm gonna take a shower and then i'm gonna start packing okay don't judge me i'm really procrastinating but i'm also really hungry my dad every time he sees me walk past him he's like and i'm like stop attacking me but let me show you guys what i made for breakfast it looks so good so I made like a breakfast scramble egg situation with my boyfriend's eggs from his farm and I'm so excited. I put spinach and mushrooms in there and then I have two of my toasts and this one has syrup on it. That's why it looks a little bit weird. And there's some hot sauce on the side. And then I'm gonna watch some YouTube. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I never even showed you guys like an up close video of my braids, but this is what they look like. This is the color. I mixed two colors like I showed you and she did such a good job. It's so neat and meticulous and it just looks so satisfying like all the little blocks and I'm really really happy with it. It's a bit longer than I wanted it to be but they said that my actual hair is too long for medium length braids so I was like okay are you like giving me a compliment at how long my hair is? and these are knotless braids so i am done procrastinating my life away i actually need to start packing now otherwise my dad is gonna get really mad at me i have family coming over tonight to say goodbye and stuff like that so there will be no really time to pack tonight so i need to finish everything now so we're gonna start in my room yes. I literally never wear this. Is it cute? I'm gonna take it with me. Okay, I thought I would give you guys a little update. These are all the clothes that I am taking with. These are all the shoes that I'm taking with. My clothes are basically done. Actually, I need to sort that out and then I'm gonna go eat because I'm so hungry. I am basically just trying to get everything out that I need to take with so that I can just like look at everything and not forget anything because if I forget something, that is gonna be so tragic. My strategy is... <laughs> I don't even have a strategy. It is unpacking everything, laying it all out everywhere, and then packing it all in. That doesn't even sound like a strategy. I can't sleep on my bed if there's so many things on it, you know? So it will actually force me to pack it in, get everything done. Lunch is served. I love eating with little forks. Do you guys also do that? It's so funny how when I'm actually supposed to be doing something, something that's urgent, I find anything else that is not important whatsoever then i'm like oh painting my nails sounds so good right now or i'm like oh cleaning all my shoes sounds so good right now and i'm like chelsea no you need to be packing let's not paint our nails randomly when you never even do that in your free time anyway let's not even go there okay i want to go to the mall as well because i want to get some mousse for my braids and then i want to get some braid spray my lunch is done now i'm gonna take off some of these books things that i need to take with to school and some of my reading books and things and then i'm gonna take some things out of these crates and i'm actually gonna take them with because they're nice storage space and i really like it so let's do that And I'm so lazy. My laziness has reached a new level. And sorry, I will stop touching my hair. I'm sorry. Let me just touch it one more time. I just went and got towels, bathroom mats, whatever, bathroom rugs, I don't know, and bedding from inside of the house. And I just threw it on my bed because I am tired, okay? I'm so tired. And I'm starting to get to the point where I'm just starting to feel overwhelmed by everything. Just looking at everything and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I still have so much to do. My strategy is failing me. <laughs> I'm gonna take my electric blanket down from up there before I forget and like freeze my ass off in the winter and sunwash. She does wonders for me. I've heard that people say that electric blankets are so bad for you, but what in this world is not bad for you anymore? Everything is bad at this point, so... Now I'm like, what What else? What else? I'm just confused at this point, and I'm delusional, and my boyfriend is calling me. Bye. <laughs> Gosh, I look scary. <laughs> I look so scary. Good morning, everyone. I, I literally did not film at all last night after we came back from the mall because we had some guests over. We had interns from my mom's work who were here and they were from like all over the world. They were from this one guy was from Mexico, this one girl was from Canada, this one other girl was from Michigan, and then three Namibian girlies who are also interning. We had like a uh, Afal Poiki, that's like my favorite thing. So my dad made that for me before I'm leaving today and it was so nice and we were just chatting and we were drinking so much wine and it was just a really good time so i didn't even vlog anything last night but it is almost six in the morning 
and my boyfriend and I are supposed to be driving at 6 but I think we're gonna probably leave like a little bit past 6 because I had Loki uh, overslept <laughs> Paris slept with me last night she woke me up when my alarm went off and I was like oh I need to wake up right now but it's okay I'm basically done packing everything it's just little things like some toiletries ah, I'm so sad I don't want to leave sometimes just the, the things that you have to do in life just aren't gonna be fun but you just have to do it like you just have to buckle down and do it and it's gonna be over so soon and I just know it I thought this vlog wasn't gonna include our road trip but I think it's too short to not include it so you guys will be seeing our road trip to Stellenbosch we're sleeping over in Klein Willy tonight i think bye flat bye we're leaving now this is the car <laughs> it looks like a mess i don't even know what's going on here and i'm sitting with a blanket and then some things here by my feet i always just sit like this but i like to sit uncomfortably i don't know sometimes i'm like it's fine we are at my boyfriend's place now he has to drop off something quickly and then we are gonna be on our way <sighs> my heart feels a bit heavy because i'm just sad to be leaving i'm just always so sad I'm, i always just get so emotional leaving my parents and things but everything will be fine i just need to go strap down and get everything together and just focus and i'm just gonna try and enjoy this I'm gonna try and enjoy this road trip. <laughs> Uber right now and we're gonna head to the border soon the road has been so nice because we were obviously on namibian soil <laughs> so now that we're gonna be entering south africa like there's no turning back from there obviously there was no turning back anyway but now that we're gonna like be in south africa there is there's no turning back but we just stopped at the service station and we just filled up and we're gonna go now Two more hours to drive till Stellenbosch, so just putting on some sunscreen. The hotel that we stayed at it was a little bit creepy. I didn't fall asleep until like, like 2, 3 a.m. I'll show you guys what it looks like. But last night when we got here, it was low shading, and I completely forgot that low shading is a thing. So it was low shading still for another hour, so we went down to the bar and had a drink. And then we came upstairs and ate our Nando's and then just went to bed. like that we're back in the car and we're at the service station now filling up the car my boyfriend just went inside to get us some coffee or tea i can't drink coffee so he went in to give me some tea or something warm because it's so cold it is so cold Woo! i'm really tempted to eat these flings for breakfast because they're like right there my boyfriend is coming back empty-handed yeah he just asked if i want hot chocolate because there is no tea what place doesn't have tea bro anyway yesterday at spa we bought these smoothies so i think i'm gonna drink one this is just strawberry smoothie it has a lot of weird things in it actually why did i buy this it has oats in it i cannot drink that anyway i was saying that i cannot drink the smoothie so i'm just gonna give it to my boyfriend those are the updates he's coming back now with my hot chocolate let's go to stalinbosch i'm so sad
Okay, everyone, I'm in my new place now. I love it so, so, so much. It reminds me of the place that I stayed in last year. I'm getting good vibes, good vibes from this place. It's my first year out of home or in university living by myself i always lived with a roommate or i lived in res but this is my first year living alone and i'm just like i have to get used to it obviously a little bit there isn't someone around always to talk to and you know just to have around but i think that it will be really really nice for me to be alone for a little bit and i'm really excited for the journey in this room i'll show you guys in the next video a whole room tour and unpacking and everything but for now we are gonna say goodbye for this video and i'm literally gonna start filming another video right now i'm obviously only in this room till end of november which is not that long but we're gonna make it as homey as possible i have so many things to unpack i'm just like staring at everything but i'm so excited for you guys to see what it looks like yeah i'll see you in my next video and i'll show you everything i promise okay i promise i am so appreciative of all of you always for watching and i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you have an amazing day or night further see you next time